click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have understood the physical properties of phenol and now we are going to do the chemical properties of phenol that is reaction of phenol with bromine water. So now let's get started. <music> The reaction of phenol with bromine is different if we consider different solvent for example so there are two cases that i'm going to talk about for example that is suppose if i am treating phenol with bromine molecule and that bromine molecule is dissolved in water so that's the reason that i would write it over here as that is br2 and now here i will write it as bromine water so whenever the phenol has been treated with bromine water so obviously therefore three molecules of bromine would be used in the reaction and in this case basically the temperature should be low so at lower temperature there is a possibility that we could get a mixture of so at low temperature we could get a product that is nothing but i've read it over here as bromine molecule bromine atom over here bromine atom over here and bromine atom over here along with that of three molecules of that is hbr that will be removed as a byproduct so this is the product that we have got over here and this is how basically the reaction occurred when we are using different solvent and in this case it is water so therefore the main product the name of the product that we have is so this is carbon number one two three four five and six so therefore we could name this as two comma four comma six tribromo phenol so this is how basically we can get this product but what happens if phenol is being treated with bromine molecule but in different solvent so now let me talk about that also so suppose if phenol is treated with bromine molecule that is nothing but br2 i will write over here but here the condition is different that is we are using organic solvent or either we can use cs2 at lower temperature that is 273 kelvin or we can also use the solvent that is chloroform that is chcl3 so in this case basically two molecules of phenol it will react with two molecules of bromine molecule and that is the reason that the possible product that we could get over here is phenol on which basically on the ortho position and on the para position the bromine would be attached so now in this case basically on the para position as well as there would be a product that would be formed where the bromine is attached on the ortho position with respect to the OH that is attached to the carbon atom of the benzene ring. So therefore there are two possible products. So in this case this product is what it is known as that is para bromophenol while this is ortho bromophenol. Along with the byproduct that it will be released is I would write it over here as two moles of HBr. But here which one would be the major product that we could get the major product that we could get is a para product and therefore this is nothing but 80 percent of the compound or 80 percent of p bromophenol would be obtained in the mixture while the 20 percent it would be presence of that is o bromophenol that is ortho bromophenol so this was nothing but the reaction of phenol with bromine molecule so that's it this is what i want to discuss about so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much